Hi, let's take a quick look at how R deals with trimming text, which is a little bit different than Excel if you're regular, if you're used to, um, to the trim function in Excel. Um, trimming is often necessary when uh, you receive some, uh, some data coming from all kinds of sources, which are um, not cleaned. Uh, a good example, if you've worked in advertising, um, you get uh, parameters which are uh, passed on to URLs with some delimiters like uh, underscores and then sometimes they come with null values so if the say the site here comes with a null value you're gonna have uh, a double underscore uh, or if the last one comes as, as an empty you might have a trailing underscore stuff like that that you need to clean up from time to time so remember you can uh, download the uh, code and run it in your own R studio uh, in the links below. Let's clean up the environment. If you need, if you don't know your working uh, working directory, then find out. If you want to change it, uh, change it. And let's just take a uh, vector, okay, of strings. Uh, David Johnson with uh, a couple of spaces here in front. Uh, Jason Gardner with uh, both a preceding and a trailing space, and Emma Ferdinand with a couple of spaces uh, trailing. Okay, so run that and we have the string vector and let's write it to uh, Excel or to CSV and open it up. And if we go to the trim function in Excel, What Excel Trim does is it deals uh, with the trailing or with the preceding, the trailing, and the middle duplicated uh, um, spaces in the same way. It trims them all and it gives you a nice clean um, uh, new text column. Now note that in this example, actually, there are no double spaces in between the um, the delimited words. So um, if I run the trim ws which is trim white spaces on the string vec object what i'm going to get is uh, the exact same thing as we got in excel okay which is nice and clean uh, first name and last name now let's uh, take a second string vector and this time notice that jason gardner has a bunch of spaces here okay so run that this is our second vector. Let's write it to CSV. Open it up. Okay, so here Jason Gardner has the multiple spaces thing. Run the trim again. And Excel deals with it uh, very neatly in just one, uh, uh, one easy go. Now let's do that in R. Trim the white spaces, and you see that these are well trimmed. So the preceding and the trailing spaces are gone, but not this one. So whether this is good or bad is up to you to decide. Sometimes Excel is uh, a little bit um, too harsh with this uh, trim command. Uh, but anyway, let's let's deal with it. Now, in order to deal with it, we use uh, regular expressions. Um, regular expressions is a huge subject. I'm not going to really touch uh, upon it here. It's something which is not really supported within regular Excel functions. But what it does, it lets you get uh, uh, define any kind of uh, string methodology to look for within a text and uh, do stuff with it. So what we're looking for here is look for. This is what this couple of uh, backslashes mean. S is for space and plus is for anytime more than one. So anytime space appears greater than one um, in subsequent places in the string. Okay. So let's see what this is uh, built from. It's built from gsub, which tells, uh, which is a function to substitute all the text within the string. So gsub, everywhere you see more than one space with a single space on the object, which is string vector two. So, okay, so if we just run this bit, okay, you see that this has changed now to a single space. And now if I want to uh, trim the, uh, the trailing and the preceding spaces, I run the uh, trim white spaces on that. And now we're good.
Now, as I showed in the uh, in the text uh, uh, notepad in, 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 at the start, it's not always spaces that you want to trim. And there are all kinds of ways to do it, uh, both here and in Excel. But uh, this is actually a pretty good way to, to deal with those uh, uh, here as well. So let's take a uh, third string vector, this time with uh, preceding, trailing, and in between uh, um, underscores. And what we'll do is we'll replace with the G sub, I replace all the places where there's an underscore of one or more with a single space, okay, in string vector three. And then what I'm going to do is trim the white spaces, which have been created now with them. when I replace the, um, uh, the underscores. And then I'm going to go back and replace the spaces with an underscore again because I do want the underscore to be the delimiter between the first and second name. So if we run this part, we get the uh, uh, replaced underscores with spaces. We run this part. Then we get the spaces, the additional spaces trimmed. And then we run the whole thing. And you just get the uh, first name, delimiter, second name. So this is what we want. Now, just like a lot of Excel uh, functions or formulas look like, it's kind of hard to read this. It really is. I mean, if you revisit your code within, in, in a couple of months or someone else reads your code, it's pretty hard to understand what the hell's going on here. It's always nicer to use uh, dplyr and, and the uh, tidyverse packages. So um, let's load dplyr and the stringer package. Let's clean everything up. And now what, I, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reload the uh, string vector 3. And here's what we tell it. We tell it, okay, take string vector 3 and um, manipulate it. So uh, string vector 3, start manipulating. Use string replace all, which is, this is uh, one of the um, stringer, um, Okay, this is one of the stringer packages. You see that it's coming from the stringer uh, library. And what it's doing is take all the places where underscore appears more than once, replace it with a single space. And it's um, and since we're within the deep layer syntax of the, of the pipe uh, stages, you don't need to pass it the uh, string itself. Okay, and then go and same thing as string trim. This is another uh, stringer library uh, function. And what this needs to have passed to it is the string, which again, we don't need to pass it because it's here at the top within the deep layer um, uh, piping actions. Uh, and you do have to pass it where you want to trim from. So from both sides, from left, or from the right. So we're going to say both and run that. And look at string rec three now, and very nicely, we have the first name, last name, and actually I forgot the uh, kind of last step. We want the delimiter to still be um, to still be underscore. So let's pipe this as well, and then go back to string replace all. Oops, sorry, and just replace space with an underscore and run this again and here we are okay so I hope you got the gist of it um, it works similar to uh, trim in Excel but not exactly like it it's got a lot more options than Excel trim uh, there's a lot more things that you can do with it uh, lots of stringer um, and, and base R string uh, functions that you can use um, Feel free to ask me questions in the comment section and I uh, hope you found this useful.